Dr. Wheatley's resignation came in the form of a letter to the Prime Minister, where he noted that after consultation with the PM, it was agreed that there should be a general performance review of the board and executive levels of the energy, science, and technology portfolios. As such, his letter of resignation said, quote, I believe this necessary process of review should be done without my presence or ministerial authority, end quote. It continued, quote, With immediate effect, I will step back from my duties as minister and cabinet member. This will allow me to focus on my constituency and parliamentary obligations, end quote. The Opposition People's National Party has been unrelenting in its call for Dr. Wheatley to step aside. Former minister and opposition spokesman on energy Philip Paulwell on the weekend continued the call for his resignation in light of the scandal at Petrojam and more recently at Nestle, where the managing director, Carolyn Warren, also resigned. But you can't clean it up by just the managing director leaving. The board has to leave as well. That board has to go as well. The board has to go as well. But there are some bigger people to go. Because when you look at how the Ministry of Science, Energy and Technology was being run, everywhere you saw instances of cronyism, people's friends coming in, people being booted out, professionals who were working hard for the country, booted out, and friends come in and you see all kinds of shady things happening. So Minister Wheatley has to go. Minister Wheatley has to go. Minister Wheatley has to go. And in its latest reaction to the resignation of Dr. Andrew Wheatley, the PNP welcomed what it describes as a long overdue removal of Dr. Wheatley. The party says it wishes to strongly signal that the resignation of Dr. Wheatley cannot and will not be the end of the matter.